This is a fantastic use case created by our friend uh, Mutas in IBM Poland in which we're going to be showing how we can detect with Curator ransomware, but also we can stop the ransomware while it's doing the encryption to minimize the scope of the damage that it uh, that it creates. So here I have this Windows uh, 7 machine and we're going to be uh, running this uh, program that by you know, you get infected by clicking, being fish, uh, or etc. And just to give you an idea, this is a very recent uh, virus. It's a vicious version of the Loki virus. Uh, you see here the, the, the review is from uh, 2017, uh, from March. So we're going to actually invoke that. And um, I, I, you will see what, what I did is in this system, I copy a bunch of uh, photos and a couple of uh, PDF files in here. I made multiple copies of them. In fact, we, we can see that we have in here, how many, uh, 12,000 files and 14 gigabytes. So that's small compared to what you normally have on your, on your, on your workstation or a normal uh, workstation. But just, you're going to see how important speed it is uh, that, that you need to have in order to stop the malware from completely destroying uh, the content of the machine. So again, we, we, we don't have curator in the picture right now. Let me invoke the actual uh, malware and we'll see it here. We see that is that my love thing that is actually uh, going to start executing and, and encrypting the files actually uh, the very, very quickly. And, and we'll see that uh, the files are going to be actually uh, encrypted uh, very, very rapidly. we see that how you know these files are actually being encrypted in here and, and, and I mean actually I'm gonna go here you see <laughs> I scroll up and all the, this folder is almost gone yeah completely gone and it's gonna continue it already encrypted all these uh, pictures as well so I mean in, in, a, in a matter of a couple of minutes maybe two three minutes this machine's data is completely destroyed. You'll see in the subsequent videos how Curator will detect the activity at the very beginning of it and will stop whatever is the process that is actually uh, uh, creating uh, that, that encryption. In this case, it's going to be the MyLob, but it's going to be whatever ransomware, uh, whatever is the name of the process that is actually used. And this detection is going to be behavioral. We show you some other ways and we detect malware, but this is on the behavior. I mean, if you get file open and files updates uh, at a very r rapid rate, uh, then you know that that's malware. And then Curator will ask, uh, in this particular case, Big Fix, to actually stop that agent, uh, again, at the very beginning, so the damage it is uh, not that massive. And you actually see here that the, the, the malware is using as much CPU as it can, and it, you know all the memory it needs, it didn't need uh, more, more than this, to actually go ahead and, and encrypt uh, everything that is out there. In fact, this this folder hasn't been touched yet. Well, yeah, it hasn't been encrypted yet, but uh, pretty soon we'll see how it's going to be uh, fall victim of that. Oh, actually, <laughs> just as I was speaking, all that is encrypted already. You see how fast this is. And that's why it's so important to have a rapid capability, an automated capability. You cannot call the help desk. and you know, It needs to be automated that Curator goes and stop uh, that that uh, ransomware on its track. So all those files are encrypted and the, and the, the malware is actually looking and encrypting all the files in, into the system, whatever is in, in this uh, uh, Windows image. And pretty soon we should be seeing the dreadful uh, message where it asks you for uh, the ransomware to be paid uh, in order for you to get the key to unencrypt the files. And here it is. Uh, this is me shivers even when I, I know that this is a contained system. And I put some precautions on the firewall and this is a, a Windows only virus and I'm running this from a Mac at the host and I put the, the latest patch version of VMware to prevent escape. So even I'm taking all those precautions still very dreadly to see, you know, that type of message, but that's what the what what you see. So I wanted to give you this uh, impression in case you haven't seen uh, ransomware in action, and then I'm going to show you how Curator prevents the from uh, this from being the result.